Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day. I've got a quick one for you today. Uh, one of the things I was asked about was how I'm playing sounds through PHP. And uh, just to give you a quick use case, whenever I need to play sounds really quickly through a good set of speakers, I usually run them through PHP on one of the servers in my office. And uh, generally those are on Windows, but sometimes they're on Raspberry Pis. And what I found out is that PHP servers, Apache servers, actually do a really good job of processing this stuff quickly. Now, obviously there's no reason for you to use this on your GoDaddy account. You'll never hear the sound. Um, but basically what I do on things like this, like I'll just, I'll hit this and basically instantaneously I'll get sound. And all I'm doing is using one of these HTTP nodes and visiting a PHP file, sound.php, sound equals coin one. So how do I do that? Um, my code is super simple. I made it a little bit more flexible for you guys. Basically, you have a file called sound.php, and we're going to use a get variable, which means we're going to pass it in the in the uh, address bar. And then what we're going to do, just to make this a little bit more flexible, we're going to find out or try to find out what operating system we're running. And the reason why I put this in there is because I bounce this script back and forth between Windows and Linux all the time. So rather than having to change my code every time I switch operating systems, this will detect that. So the one thing I don't know, um, I was reading that you can play MP3s from the command line on a Mac with AF Play, which is pre-installed, but I don't have a Mac here to test it. So if anybody has one, feel free to give some feedback. If you're on Linux, you're going to want to install MPG123, and i show you how to do it on Debian and CentOS or Red Hat. And so basically this, you're good to go with this because I have it right here, the CD MP3 file. Um, you are good to go on Mac OS because it's installed by default. And you will be good to go on Linux if you just install MPEG123. So basically from there, you can do two things. You can either predefine which mp3s you're going to play which is probably the safer way if you're doing it on anything that even resembles a live server so in this situation i just say if mp3 equals one which is just a, a name i gave it then go there into the mp3 folder and play coin one and so basically that would happen with something like this so i would come here and just i have sound equals one and pretty much instantaneously you get and Every time you refresh the page, you're going to get a quarter dropping. And so, you know, very simple. And then the other thing is you can also basically have a whole folder of MP3 files and just specify the name without the uh, MP3. So in this situation, I'm saying sound equals coin2. What it's going to do is it's going to come in here and check, is there a file called coin2.mp3? If so, play it. And so that should be a different one. But basically, you get a nice, quick uh, MP3 player for playing sound effects that I think works better than some of the things in Node-RED and, uh, and other ways of playing sound files. So it's great for video games. It's great for things like my duck hunt, escape rooms, like anywhere where you need to be able to play big or small MP3 files quickly. I think that's a great way to do it. So I will include the code and the sample MP3 files in my GitHub, which will be listed in the description of this video and I appreciate if you like comment subscribe and give me some other ways that you guys do this sort of thing have a great day